So Makes very, sense. very confident in his matchup versus the Midwest in general. Very true. And at the time, it was the streaks. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Yeti had never lost a tournament because that was before Genesis. Oh yeah, which was the very first tournament that Yeti did not get first dead. Yeah, that was that retro first, game. Like, for the, yeah, Retro Arena '64. Yeah. It was two months or so where Yeti got first at every single tournament, yeah. and Meister, who had never lost a tournament in Chicago, so it was a, a battle of wits for sure. Anyway, that is all a, a great prelude to this uh, this matchup between Dan and Josh King, the uh, the Game Watch Extraordinaire from our region. Yep, Ma Game Watch Extraordinaire versus the Mario Extraordinaires. It's gonna be a little bit interesting, I'll say the least. These characters function kind of similarly. They want to get some stuff started out of grabs. They want to. They're kind of short. They just want to box you to and fro. But all right, Josh King gonna find the first blow with that down tilt in the far corner. So violent in the corner. Well, that Elsa Nash has deceptively little end lag in which he can throw at that down tilt or that F tilt and try and get a poke with that. That's something that Josh King loves to do. Yeah, that was a classic Game and Watch trick going way back to Smash Four. Very true. They're trying to mix him up with the Flood and Cape combo. However, smart recovery from Josh King. He's making it back, although it's going to lead to a ton oh. of damage and actually the stock as he gets interrupted on the landing with the spicy meatball towards him. Perfect sweet spot on that, too. And he knew exactly where Josh King was going to land. And that's when Josh King starts to throw out the spice of his own. Oh, oh wait. That's it. And Josh King making it back. Impressive combo on the right side. We saw him go for the judgment, and I think he misinputted the side B the wrong way, but he was still able to find a very sneaky way to steal the grab from, or, sorry, not the grab, the, uh, the double jump from Mario. Yeah. Now it's Mario's time to answer right back. He goes for an up throw combo of his own, but just barely misses the mark. I didn't even think, I didn't even see if Dan loses jump, so, I mean, Josh King obviously knows something that I don't. Here's what? As long as you go for it, like, if he, if he loses the jump, then you, you just get the win on, on landing. Yeah. Josh King just putting up an overall wall of pressure, up smashes. Just not letting Dan get anything started right now. Dan does find his way to Terra Firma, and he gets the ledge get up. Josh King as Game & Watch. Not heavy enough to survive the up smash. That was, that, that was still very close, though. Every, both of them had their own like little strings. Both of them had their little, own little strings, but they were also respecting each other. They weren't going for anything that was really too over aggressive. That's just destined to be a back and forth uh, matchup. Anytime it's a, a combo character versus a con character, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to get my 30, 40%. Uh, you're going to get your 30, 40%. They both have some good combo breaking tools as well in the matchups. Yeah. Like the uh, the trampoline. Short, short up Nair from the Mario. The trampoline from Game Watch is a pretty good combo breaker. Nair from Mario, pretty good combo breaker. Yo, it is an advertisement for combo breaker. You are correct. Yep. Thank you for bringing that up, production. That's this weekend. It's going to be lit. Yeah, yeah it's, it sounds like it's going to be a really fun time. Meister going back again, trying to reclaim his title. Yeah, he's trying to go for back-to-back -back combo breaker champion. Yeah. Especially after people said back and forth, oh, he won with a low tier. He's here to prove that Game Watch. And this guy's at least high tier. For but. sure. And he's, he's trying to prove that he's the best Game & Watch real because there are plenty of uh, other Game & Watch actually even in his own region in Mexico. Oh, I thought he hit the spot dodge. Okay, but you know what? It was conditioning. You're eventually going to jump out of there and you know what's waiting. Another up smash. The bricks in the hat. Very, Very much the Mario classic. Yeah. But now Dan, Super Dan, he has a lot more. You can tell he has a lot more control. Definitely being a lot more respectful. Letting Josh King do his advances and just take the lumps that he gives you, right? It's because he's are, it's already 70% onto Josh King's second stock, only just reaching 87% on Mario's stock. So if you don't overextend versus this character and you just can take the punches you get, you're in a good spot. And look at Dan go, and the up air enough to KO, because it's pretty fresh. It wasn't really used as a combo tool in this uh, stock. Dan is looking nice and crisp. He knows exactly what he needs to do in this point. His download is looking good. I hope Dan does remember this style of gameplay versus Game & Watch if he does have to fight Meister later in the bracket because oh. he's in good shape. Josh King taking a quick stop. little Josh King taking a quick little breather. Both him and Game Watch. Yeah, I, I do that in real life every single time. I <laughs> I take a stock, just take a deep breath. Very true. Yeah. 
I, right idea with the pivot grab, but just, you know, you can't run through people's shields in this game. It's kind of tricky to space that sometimes. And up B, close, but not quite. A nice sweet spot F smash. Yeah, that found the mark. Close, but not quite. Up high, but then you go for the horizontal KO. That's Mario in a nutshell. You can kill you to the left, you can kill you to the right, you can kill you above. Yeah. Excellent plays from Dan. Finds a 2 0 victory. Game one was a nail biter. Game two, not so much. Yeah. Dan, Dan seemed to get a lot more of the download. He seemed to be more respectful of what Josh King was going for. Because Josh King loves to try and punish your attempt, punish your approach attempts. Hmm. Game Watch has got up smash, he's got up B. Just let him not get those, and he's a lot more vulnerable. Exactly. It could be tricky for Game Watch to kill sometimes, especially if you can't land those down smashes. Yeah. And that's just the move, it's.